Hello everybody, Happy New Year to you. Uh, this is Alistair again from FaithWorks, just another of the little updates we want to do for you who volunteer and give your time and energy to one of the, uh, the projects across the FaithWorks family. And we want to do it each time coming from a different place, different venue within the family, and this is the storehouse. And in the storehouse, we turn houses into homes for those who are coming out of emergency and temporary accommodation and try and help them so that some of the people who are coming out of the most vulnerable parts of, of life can actually not sit on the floor and stare at four walls, but actually feel like the place they're moving into is a home. And so Mikey and Winston the dog, who you might see sometimes in the background, um, they lead a team of volunteers and trainees um, that load up donated beds and tables and chairs and chests of drawers and sofas and kitchen packs and white goods and white goods over here, kit, little fridges and cookers. And they get them out to people referred to us from the council and from other places. And in 2022, 912 items, 139 different trips uh, to help people. And that doesn't count all the collections they did as well. So if you know of anybody who has good quality furniture, uh, particularly chest of drawers, Mikey was saying this morning, kitchen tables are particularly he helped at the moment, then please give Mikey a call. Uh, we'll put the number in the intro to this, this message. And if, uh, also, if you know of anybody who'd be wanting to give a few hours driving on a particular on a Tuesday or Thursday, that would be also really helpful. We're looking for um, someone to help in that. Uh, of course, those of you in Christchurch, you'll know that there's the furniture bank attached to Christchurch Food Bank Plus and uh, another whole container full of donated furniture there getting out to people really in the most dire circumstances. So I wanted to give you a heads up of some of the things that, are, that uh, we're planning in 2023. Uh, it'll be a year when we see uh, Nourish, our first community larder or social supermarket, if you like, open in Blanford. Uh, we'll see a lovely new brand spanking new warehouse in Poole for the food bank there. Uh, hopefully be able to run our half-time service for people as they're getting off the streets. So Rush Sleepers come in and connecting them into all the help they can from a housing and health hub right in the centre of Bournemouth. And we run various campaigns that are a little different. So, for example, in February, did you know that the 17th of February is Random Acts of Kindness Day? And we want to play our part in that. So try and bring some unexpected joy to people in what well, is a difficult time of the year, in a difficult year anyway. So whether it's leaving flowers at bus stops or giving someone a little note through their door to say how much we appreciate them, we want to try and find creative ways of just bringing a little light into people's uh, times at the moment. So um, I know some of you are already thinking up ideas, but it'd be great if you have any to share, which we could uh, highlight across across the month of February. Uh, let us know, go through your team there and let us know. You'll find out more of all these things on the Faithworks website. And, uh, but if you got, do have any questions or you want to get in contact on anything, then please do shout. Um, there's a hello from the trustees linked to this message um, so you can get to know some of them. Um, but they and we and I all agree that you are the absolute lifeblood of what Faithworks does. So thank you. It was so good to read of, um, from the survey. So many of you filled in. Thank you for that. that uh, you really love volunteering uh, and playing your part in all that we do. So thank you. And I pray that you'll have new strength and new energy. Thank you for bringing light into a gloomy world.